So you want to know which marketplaces are the best to buy and sell skins on in CS2 and how to get the most bang for your buck. Today we're going to be tier listing my top 3 favorite marketplaces and I'm going to be brutally honest and tell you everything that you need to know about each one of these marketplaces before putting them on a tier list so that you can make your mind up about which one you want to use. Before we get into that, I just wanted to remind you that I am hosting a giveaway for this Huntsman Autotronic in field tested condition. $250 value. To enter, all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed and leave a comment down below. I'll be picking the winner as soon as we hit 5,000 subscribers. The first stop on our tier list is CS Float, and this is one of, if not the best marketplaces in my opinion, and I'll explain to you why right now. This is what the homepage of CS Float looks like, and it might look confusing at first, but once you know what you're doing, the layout in the UI is actually really, really nice and super intuitive. All you have to know on this website is over here on the left hand side, this is all of the filters, and they're easy to understand, obviously. You can search for specific items, set your price range, set which where you want the skin that you're looking for to be. Obviously, if you want it to be stat track souvenir or normal and then a whole bunch of other settings that you don't really even need to worry about unless you want to and it's nice to have the options to you can search for skins with specific stickers on them which is really nice also you can search for specific charms and cs float definitely by far has the best user interface out of all of the marketplaces that i've seen up here on the top right you can select which items you want to see without actually using filters but you can also compound this on top of filters so you can look at items with like special stickers combos and you can also look at unique items like for example this case hardened is probably going to be a blue or a gold gem it is a gold gem this gun knife right here is a sapphire and this m9 safari mesh doesn't look that special until you realize that it is the number two lowest float in the world for the m9 safari mesh and the great thing about cs float is there is a zero percent buying fee and when you are selling there is only a two percent selling fee which is actually one of the lowest out of all of the marketplaces that i've ever Ever seen and it seems like a fair fee it is just always two percent no matter how expensive your item is it doesn't scale up or scale down and it's really easy to predict how much money is going to be taken from your sales due to fees and the fees are actually really low on cs float and that is why cs float is definitely going into the s tier it is one of the best if not the best marketplaces i have ever used and it is the one that i main most of the time i'm always on cs float refreshing it looking for good deals and whenever i buy skins off of other people i go through cs float and it always works out no one ever has a hard time withdrawing money or listing their item it is just a flawless experience moving on to gamer pay i really like gamer pay but there are a few drawbacks compared to cs float now gamer pay is definitely one of my favorite marketplaces they were a sponsor of the channel for a very long time and i'm not just saying this because i was sponsored by them in the past this marketplace is really really good and i have used it often although in my opinion it is not as good as cs float and there are a few reasons why now GamerPay has all of the features that CS Float has, although the user interface is not nearly as good. You can see the filters over here on the left side, but they are a little bit more confusing, kind of cluttered together, and I just don't really like how they look. And also up here at the top, it kind of took me forever to find this button, whereas on CS Float, it is a very obvious drop down. And when you click on an item on GamerPay, you can see here that it shows you a really nice preview. But when you scroll down, you can tell that items are just not listed on GamerPay pay as often as they are listed on cs float and since there is less volume i would say that gamer pay is just slightly worse than cs float in that regard as well as the fact that gamer pay has a 2.5 percent selling fee now there is a zero percent buying fee which is really good as long as you are using wallet balance pretty much meaning that if i go down here and i want to buy this chrome cannon i have two options to buy the chrome cannon i can just buy it directly off of my credit card or my paypal account but there will be fees whereas if i deposited 40 dollars in to the website as wallet balance there would be no fees when buying this skin but as i've said before there is a 2.5 percent selling fee which obviously makes it worse than cs float if you are looking to sell your skins so for those reasons i am going to put gamer pay in the a tier as it is still a great marketplace but unfortunately it's just not quite as good as cs float is but i do think that it is a great alternative to cs float whenever a skin that you're looking for for some reason is not on cs float i have used gamer pay a lot 
lot in the past and still continue to do so when there are good deals and i think it's just best to check cs float and gamer pay very often for nice deals if you're looking at flipping skins because they both have their fair share of really really good deals i honestly have no complaints about gamer pay it's just that i think cs float does a couple of things better now for this next marketplace skin port i'm just going to preemptively rank this because i think that it will make it easier for me to explain my reasoning after you already know where it ends up on the board i originally was going to put Skinport in d tier although there are a few redeeming factors to Skinport, so i will actually be moving it up to c tier and here's why Skinport is a nice website with a really cool ui and it is actually really easy to use Skinport definitely looks the most professional out of all of the websites now i don't really know how to explain what i mean by that but it is just the smoothest obviously you can tell here whenever you hover over the skins it looks really really nice they obviously put a lot of time and money into this website although the biggest thing about this website the biggest drawback and the thing that is holding Skinport away from being an a or an s tier is the fact that they charge 12 percent fees i mean that is borderline criminal that is insane it is like they're stealing the money right from under your nose 12 percent is insane maybe i could understand 10 that is pushing it I probably would never sell on a website that takes 10% fees and Skinport takes two more than that at 12. I just cannot wrap my head around how they get so many listings on the website charging a 12% fee fee on every single sale now i do think that there is a caveat to that i think that if your skin that you are selling is above two thousand dollars i believe don't quote me on that the sales tax goes down to two percent but on all of the other skins on the marketplace that are under that set amount which again i think is two thousand dollars are charged 12 percent fees upon selling so in my opinion it really doesn't make sense to sell on this website and it also doesn't make sense to buy on this website because all of these skins that you see here are actually upcharged and of course the reason why is because the website is charging so many fees everyone upcharges their skin by 12 percent so the person that really loses out in this scenario is the buyer even though there is zero percent purchasing fees you still miss out because these skins are priced at a way higher amount for example we can see here since i have an extension this talon knife marble fade is going for around 785 dollars on buff right now now and it is going for $880 on Skinport, which is a $100 difference. Now, obviously, not everyone can use buff. I actually can't even use buff because I'm not in China. But the bottom line is that skins are more expensive on Skinport. Even though they are cheaper in Steam, they are not cheaper than CS Float or GamerPay. Now, with all that being said, you would think that I would rate Skinport in the D or the F tier, even. Although there is one huge redeeming factor on Skinport, and that redeeming factor is that Skinport is actually really good for flipping skins. And let me explain to you why. Skinport actually uses bots whenever you put your skins on the market, which means and whenever you buy a skin, you actually buy it from the Skinport bot and you can choose whether or not you want to withdraw it or not. For example, this USP trader right here, as you can see up in the top left corner, it is tradable in eight days, but you can still buy it. Basically, the reason reason why is because this was put on the marketplace and the way that it was put on the marketplace was because it was traded to a skin port bot and if i bought this skin right now it would still stay in the bots account until eight more days when i choose to withdraw it but the thing is you don't actually have to withdraw the skin you can sell it whenever you want even if it is in the bots inventory meaning that i can buy this usp right now if it was a good price and then i can sell it 30 minutes later whereas normally you would have to wait eight days for the trade hold to slow down on any other marketplace because most other marketplaces especially not gamer pay or cs float they don't use bots in this way so this is the one redeeming quality about Skinport is that if you're looking to flip skins you can do it much faster on Skinport, which is the reason i put Skinport in c but honestly i'm even thinking about moving it up to b so we'll say that Skinport is between a high c and a low b i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful i definitely will be down to make some more about other marketplaces let me know down in the comments below which ones you want to see added to the tier list and if that is something that you are interested in or if you're interested in more content like this definitely make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss those videos because sometimes my videos will be recommended to people and sometimes they just won't by the way guys we now have a discord where
where I am doing a ton of giveaways. The most recent giveaway winner was actually just picked last week and I will be doing a new giveaway next week. So if that is something that you are interested in, definitely make sure to join. The link will be down in the description below. It is also just a really cool place to hang out and talk with like-minded people and also stay in the know about news relating to CS2 as I post most of the stuff that I make videos about in the Discord beforehand. Also, YouTube tells me that up to 90% of people watching this video right now are not subscribed. So if you just checked and you aren't, please make sure to hit that sub button and click the bell so that you never miss another upload. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. It really means the world to me and I'll see you in the next one.